Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so everybody's favorite lipstick guru, honey, she's back, okay? That is Miss Jacqueline Hill. She popped back on YouTube after a month of deleting her social media and running off into hiding for selling contaminated lipsticks. She decided to, you know, peek around the bushes, creep back, and say what's up to her damn audience, okay? So with that being said, basically, Jacqueline Hill decided to bless everybody with a 19-minute video of her not saying a damn thing, Okay. This woman went on and on and on. I was literally watching her video like this. Oh, shit, bet. Okay, Jacqueline Hill got something to say. She wants to tell us where she's been. Okay, sis, go on ahead, spill that tea. Let us know where you been. Okay. She's going to get to it soon enough. Okay. So you, oh, okay. So what, sis, it's, we're 10 minutes into the damn video. 15 minutes into, bitch, you ain't told us nothing. What the hell, Jacqueline? She didn't say shit. It was a bunch of woe with me. You know, my team told me not to make this video. This video might be the biggest mistake of my entire career. This is the worst thing I could do to my career. Uh, no chick. The worst thing you could do to your career was to sell contaminated lipstick because you're trying to be cheap and cut corners when it came to quality control, okay? That's the worst thing you could do for your career. So my whole thing is this. I was not feeling that 19 minute video. All she did was talk in circles. Everything was her. Oh, woe is me. Shout out to the fans who had my back, who sent me, my mama, my baby daddy, my ex-husband, my four kids, my grandmother, my auntie, emails of support. Like, girl, bye. You had way more people, you know what I'm saying, dragging your ass on social media than supporting you. She's trying to flip it and make it seem like it's the minority of people who are upset about the lipsticks, but the majority of people, you know, are still in support of her. But when she said that, you know, this has been her lifelong dream is to start her own makeup line ever since she was working at Mac in Chicago, you know, and, and I get that. I, I understand having a lifelong dream, but with that lifelong dream, there's a responsibility. I noticed in that video, she kept wanting to call herself a CEO and a boss. Be a CEO, be a boss ass bitch, let everything blow. You know, she needed to boss up and, you know, be the CEO and pull up her big girl panties. But the way that she acted when she was under fire, the way that she acted when her company was getting drugged through the media for honest reviews, you know what I'm saying, for shit that they really did, um, to me was very unbecoming of a CEO. And I'm sure being that she's new to this whole CEO role, it's gonna take some time to get used to. But see, that's the problem. People love titles, okay? People love titles like CEO, president, chief, uh, CFO, they love titles, but they don't understand what comes with that title, okay? When you are the CEO of a company, you own everything, the good and bad, the praises, the positive reviews, the negative reviews, the dragging. That's what it means to be a CEO, point blank period, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys some of this mumble jumbo bullshit she was spewing in her video. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys and just wait for the moment where I felt like I had the strength to get on camera and really talk to you guys in a way where I was a little bit more level-headed and together. I have had so many people tell me to just not address anything, not talk about anything, don't talk about your feelings, don't open up about anything, just move on, be a CEO, be a boss ass bitch, let everything blow over. I built my entire career on my relationship with you guys. And that relationship is so important to me. Would you have some sort of conflict with someone that you love, with a friend, and then just let it blow over and just let them forget about it? Is that a good friend? I don't think so. I love these people. I love you guys and I, I value the friendship that I have built with you. You guys have been through so much with me. Like you've been through so, my anxiety, my depression. I opened up about, you know, my abusive relationship in the past. I talked to you guys about my divorce. Like you guys have gone through so much with me and I'm not gonna all of a sudden not talk to you about some things. I just wanna be complete honest with you guys the way I would be to a friend and just talk to you and open up and be real. I tried so hard to make sure that I didn't like pull like the beauty YouTuber card and sit on the floor with a hoodie and no makeup crying like I tried so hard to make sure like 
I had makeup on, I had like a cute little top on, had my background, like we're being professional today. I'm just really scared. I really am, I'm just being honest with you guys. I didn't want to get on camera and I didn't want to sit here and cry and be like, oh my God, like. One of my strongest passions, that along with developing makeup. <sighs> I say it every day and I'm still just like, I choke on those words. Like my launch was a failure. It failed, it sucked. I spent so much time working on that brand. I spent so much time hyping people up. I was so excited and I was so confident. And honestly, I was so confident that I was almost cocky to be quite honest, because I was just like, this is gonna be the best thing that people have ever seen. The best lipstick the market has ever seen. Like. I was working with the best lab, with the best people. I had spent all this money. I was just like, this is amazing. I'm not here for that because if I start to address the rumors, I would be making a video that's two hours long. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I know that so many people have speculations. I did not have a, con a quality control team big enough to handle what I was doing at all and I totally, messed up and the fact that I had to mess up and show my ass in front of millions of people who love me and trust me sucks. Know how sorry I am and how embarrassed I am. Like this has just been, and I was not enough involved in quality control and I overhyped it for you guys for what ended up happening. I trusted the wrong people. I did a lot of things that I should not have done and I just feel terrible for anybody who received a lipstick that wasn't perfect. That's why I gave every single person a refund. But just so you guys have like a little insight, I have fired so many people <laughs> and I have hired so many people. In this past month, I have built an entire new quality control team. I have brought on several different people for all different things. And that's why I left social media. I know that people think that I left social media because I was running away and I was hiding and I get it. I completely understand it. That's exactly what it looks like. That's what I would think. The reason that I had to get away from social media and just fully delete it is because at that point I had refunded everybody there, every single penny they had spent. I was humiliated, I was embarrassed and it was time for me to start picking things up and putting the pieces back together and rebuilding. But still, that's not why I like went black and deleted my accounts. It's not because I was embarrassed. We'll get to that in a minute. That's not at all the reasonings. But the reason that I had to leave social media is because I was sitting on the couch one night and I was just dragging myself insane, but I was just obsessing over Twitter, obsessing over Instagram. I was just obsessed with all of it, typing in my name. I was just like, what's going on? Like I just got into this place where I was so clouded and unable to rebuild my brand, unable to figure out what's going on. And I knew in order to get right, in order to make my brand right, I had to get me right. And so I was just like, I can't do this. I'm done. I need to deactivate everything. I need to have absolutely zero power to look at anything that's going on because I need to focus. I am the one who decided to be a big girl, this boss bitch and launch my own brand. And I need to be the one to make sure that that's exactly what I do. I know it's my destiny. I know that I'm supposed to have a cosmetic brand. That's why I've had this passion, this fire inside of me for all these years. And my first launch was a fail, but it's like, I gotta keep going. I got like wearing Christian Louboutin heels every single day and Valentino marching to the office just being like, yes. And for that, I am grateful. I'm, it sounds so weird, but I'm grateful for the fact that this happened because I immediately got to learn such incredible lessons on being a boss, on running a company. I have to find out what happened how it happened, I have to fire, I have to hire, I have to rebuild, I have to restructure, I have to move forward. So that's what I did. Honey. All right, so you guys just watched that video. So anyways, I love how, you know, she did say that she didn't want to go the typical YouTube, you know, guru route by wearing a, you know, a tattered gray sweater and, you know, crying on the floor looking homely and shit. She decides, you know what I'm saying, spruce herself up, 
put on some makeup. Hell, I even decided to put on some damn makeup today. Y'all see my eyeshadow? I'm getting a little bit better. Y'all, I'm getting a little bit better. Don't judge me. I'm not on Jaclyn Hill's level yet, but maybe one day I too will get there with the damn eyeshadow. So yeah, she decided to spruce herself up and she did look pretty. I'll give her that. Her makeup was on point and everything else. But you know, at the end of the day, I just wasn't feeling her explanation. That was 19 minutes of just, you know, ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. I have no answers. Ashes, ashes. Turn off the camera and keep it fucking moving. That's what I got from her. She also said that she's getting ready to launch another product line. And she also said something that, that I kind of found weird. She said that this launch really messed her up because she wanted to launch new products every six weeks, every six to eight weeks. And I thought that was really strange because you have major brands like L'Oreal, Fenty Beauty. You know, I'm talking about brands who have millions of dollars behind them. Now, granted, Jacqueline has a lot of money behind her, but she's not on the same level as a L'Oreal. They don't even release new makeup every six to eight weeks. So I found that really weird that she was willing to put out makeup every six to eight weeks. That just doesn't make any sense, especially being that it takes a long time for makeup to be done and, you know, quality controlled. It takes anywhere for good makeup, anywhere from three to six months for it to be prepared properly, depending on how big your supply is. And from the rough estimates in her receipts, she had over 300,000. So I just found that really, really funny. Another thing I found funny is that she made this video, but she did not address her lipsticks one time. She didn't talk about the contamination. She didn't talk about the shards of glass. She basically chopped it up to rumors and stated that she's not going to address any rumors. But my thing is people had evidence. There was fuzz on their lipsticks. There were hairs. There were shards of glass or shards of plastic. Those weren't rumors. Those were facts, sis. So for her not to, you know, address that to me was kind of like a slap in the face. Now, granted, she did apologize to her audience, but she waited till the very end. And I just kind of felt like, you know... She just apologized just to be apologizing because basically she's over and she wants to move on. She also stated that she shot a tutorial before all this drama and she's ready to release the tutorial, which I find funny because as we all know, Jaclyn Hill really doesn't even come on YouTube unless there's some damn money involved, okay? When was the last time she made a tutorial teaching folks how to put on damn makeup? She just doesn't do YouTube like that. She's too big. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? She's living her best life. But when you want the title of CEO, you know what I'm saying you have to put in work on and off of YouTube so for me personally I wasn't feeling her explanation video I just thought she went around in circles I'm glad she seems to be doing okay though I can imagine the toll it took on her mental health you know to be drugged by everybody on social media but at the end of the day she really didn't explain too much it was a lot of excuses everybody else's fault but hers she fired a bunch of people she shut down her social media so that way she could you know go through her team and fire who she needed to fire you know i just thought there was a lot of blame shifting as opposed to her just taking ownership now she did say that she felt like she was a little bit arrogant she just knew her launch was going to be all that when she really should have put that arrogance into the damn quality control that's what she should have damn did okay you know, at the end of the day, this video just was just all over the place. It's almost like when you're in class and you're nodding off and shit, and the teacher calls your name. T, what's the answer to number four? And you're like, uh, orange? You know what I'm saying? You just pull some shit out your ass? That's how she came across, you know what I'm saying? She was way all over the place. And for her to keep saying that, you know, she put a lot of money into this. She put a lot of her hard-earned money into this. But then to take, you know, shortcuts when it came to quality control to me, that's kind of silly. That's where the money really should have went into is the quality control, especially being that she's going to have so many products made, you know. So the whole situation is definitely going to be a learning experience for her. But I think for her to want to rush and put out more products, I think at this point in time you need to slow down, sis, figure out what was wrong the first time and I would say don't put anything out for the next six months to a year because people aren't feeling you right now and nobody's gonna be too quick to go buy your products you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that she should give up her goals of being a makeup person and you know selling makeup I think she should still do that but I think for her to be talking about putting out new products when all this shit just happened not even a month ago it's a bit too early sis okay fall back a bit go back to the drawing board make sure all your t's are crossed all your eyes are dotted don't be in a rush to you know hurry up and show people what you can do make sure everything is right okay it's not a race to the finish line it's about quality not quantity 
So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Jacqueline Hill coming back to YouTube and, you know, regaling us with, you know, tales of supposedly where she was at, but she didn't say anything about where she was at. Basically just talked in circles and really didn't take too much ownership of all the fuck shit that happened with her brand. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.